Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Season 3, where we are still building on Londinium. Good lord, is this city taking a long time? I mean, we got a major setback with the barbarian invasions a good while ago, but... Let's see, okay, we're in January. Did the peace rating go up or down? It stayed right where it was. Okay, 59. That's unfortunate. So it'll take at least another year before that goes up. Favor is going down. Prosperity is now at least... Oh, quality of housing. Yeah, we can't get the overall quality much higher. Sadly. That's a problem. We can't really afford another luxury district. It wouldn't work anyway because we wouldn't have access to the Hippodrome. But she said library, so fine. <laughs> Four more libraries like that. Uh, I probably need a few shanties down here. Make sure you have labor access. You are lacking furniture, right? Yes. Uh, that was expected. Oh well. At least it's good to have a town where money is not an issue anymore. It really isn't. Could squeeze in a few more oracles. Negate the gods given the number of citizens we now have. Still about libraries. But I built four of them. I suppose they haven't gotten access to labor yet. No, okay, so I gotta just have to wait a bit. Wolf pants are holding mostly. Come on, prettyfy the market. Food source is stable. And pottery seems to be working okay. Hopefully we can do the same for furniture now. Population 14,000. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, that number has gone a bit higher than I suspected it would. <laughs> Are we still feeding this all these people? Produce just enough, yeah. <laughs> and we're still short on labor. Um, and if I keep growing the city, we won't ever, ever get that rating high enough. Again with the theaters. And as the city keeps growing, we're gonna keep having that problem. Quite a little Broadway we got going here. How are you doing on the uh, meat, by the way? You were kind of short earlier. Oh, that's good. Okay now. Good. We need to keep the rich folks happy. That's how we make our money. And keep everyone fed on their ridiculous high salaries. Uh, our schools. We'll go back up a few more schools. Let's see if we can get that right. Hopefully, hopefully the peace rating will go up at the end of the year. And if it does, we can just send a gift to Caesar. That should be the end of the favor rating as well. So as long as the prosperity doesn't collapse, and as long as the peace actually goes up by one point. One point. That's all we need. I suspect it didn't go up because of that barbarian, the local uprising that torched 
some of our towns. Why aren't you? Oh. Okay. You actually aren't actually finding anyone nearby. Ah, that's unfortunate. I don't think I'm gonna bother making a hamlet up here just to feed you. I don't think it's gonna be that important. I may be able to be. I'm fine. Some shanties up there too. about schools. I did build three of them, so I don't know if they've gotten access to labor yet. One of them, whoa. Huh. Okay. That is a bit of a problem if it's just a labor access issue. And if I set up another square, we're gonna have even more people, and the rating is gonna. Oh, uh, yeah, we can't really keep growing the top of the city either. And there we go, culture rating went up 71, which I believe was. No, it's a 75. Ah. We're definitely getting closer. Now I'm complaining about theaters, so. A few more of those. I'm not gonna make more actor colonies, hopefully. I won't need them. the olives to the rest of the town, I suppose. I'm not really interested in doing that, though, because... Well, I suppose I could open it to this little enclave down in the south. That could work. No, no, no. I still wouldn't have access to wine or two foods. Oh, maybe I won't need it to fight. Culture is okay now. Prosperity is fine. One try, point try on peace. So I guess I'll just have to wait for the end of the year and hope that peace rating goes up. And if it does, we'll send a gift to Caesar. I'm gonna gamble that we're gonna get a mission so I don't have to spend my money gifting Caesar. And right now we're... How much do we have stock stockpiled? How much money do I have? Nearly 11,000. And that's money that's gonna help a great deal on the next map, I suspect, so... Definitely counting in the food. That's good. Starting to think we have more food in carts at any given time than we have in granaries or on the fields. These people are fed, so can't complain. So as long as prosperity doesn't die, we should be okay. I don't know, hope we get one plus one for peace rating at the end of the year. Culture rating should now be stable. Population shouldn't go much higher. And if it does, the only way for us to increase prosperity is basically to open up olives to the rest of the town. Would be doable. Maybe not practical, but doable. I 
at least this map had the great blessing of having a lot of open flat space and a lot of farmlands. Not like, say, Lugdunum. Ugh. Still nightmares of that map. All those wonky mountains and stuff. It's really annoying to build on that map. This one has been just a delight. I mean, look at all the nice open space. So easy to build, my little favorite. Uh, square structures. All the open platform lands and all the, all the goodies. Actually looked at that animation if it's just I assume it's always the same animation. It would have been fun if it wasn't though. rating hasn't gone down. That's good. Even though the population is going up, so I'm kind of fearful. Da, 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 da. What about employ employment? Oh yeah, festivals. Oops. Back of housing, eat more than produce, crime, schools, da, da. I'm short a hundred people. Yeah. Please, just give him that plus one piece, and then we can probably finish this map. That's all we need. Culture we can artificially boost, prosperity is good, I don't think it's gonna drop. And favor we can just send a gift and that's gonna be the end of that. Come on, end of the year. Peace rating of 61. So now it's just a favor rating that's holding us back. So I have two choices. I can wait for a mission. And risk of oh, prosperity went down. Yeah, and it's gonna keep dropping if we keep increasing our population. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I wanna send a gift, but uh, gifts are expensive. I don't know how I don't know how strong a gift I'd need. It doesn't say how many points to each of them will yield. Mm, that's gonna be a lot of dinari that I'm not gonna have on the next map. Uh... Yeah, let's do it. I'm kind of. Whoops. No. Oh, I. Oh, okay, fine, I sent it. Uh... Oops, click there, but that's fine. I think I sent the gift I wanted. I hope I did. So we're gonna enter, enter the next map with about 5,000. That's actually okay. Or with 8,000. Yeah, 8,300 something denarii. That's okay. Caesar has promoted you to the rank of Caesar. <laughs> okay. So I'm, getting, I'm taking your job, buddy. That's fine. Uh, I could govern for a few more years and accumulate more money. I don't think I'm gonna do that. 
I think an extra 8,000 is gonna be enough. I hope it is. By Jupiter, the savages of Britannia have never seen the likes of Londinium. Claudius the god, who showed those islanders the edge of Roman swords so long ago, is surely smiling on us. I don't well hope so. I did well. So, farewell to London. Oh, it's the final assignment already. Ah, I thought it was at least one more level. Okay, so our choices are... Glindum. Extremely dangerous province. Oh, that sounds pleasant. Maybe that's where we're gonna face, face Boudica, by the looks of things. Or... Massilia. I'm gonna go with Massilia, peaceful Massilia. Don't think I'm gonna face Boudica. At least I assume that's who we see the image of here. So, Massilia it is. Against my better judgment, I shall tell you a secret. All the world hails me as emperor and god. But I still wear the flesh of a man. I'm getting on in years and the supreme power weighs heavier each day. I wish to be one of the few emperors in Rome's long history to enter a peaceful and voluntary retirement. The lack of a natural-born heir is the only barrier to my plan. Every patrician in Rome would quickly offer himself as my successor, but the more avidly they want it, the less suited they are for such power. You alone have shown the ability and the devotion to govern in my place. I have one last assignment for you. The ultimate test of your governing skills. You will build a glorious city in Massilia, a province with little farmland, meager resources and some armed resistance. Local Gauls are again fighting Roman rule. Some barbarians never learn. You must achieve very high ratings to show yourself worthy of the ultimate promotion. Build an extremely prosperous city that rivals Rome in culture, and earn high favor with me. Use all your talent to make Marsilia your crowning achievement, and I will overlook the differences that you and I have had in the past. I am weary. Do not disappoint me now with the final prize in your sight. Mm, okay. And he's not kidding about high ratings, my goodness. Um, prosperity in 85, peace of 70, culture of 80, favor of 85. Ugh. And a population of 8,000, so we can't, and by his description, very little farmland. Yeah, we're gonna have issues, I think. Let's see. Let's have a look at the map. What are we facing here? Oh boy. Are you kidding me? Is this all the farmland we have? Oh, and a tiny bit here. <laughs> How are you gonna feed people on that? Feeding 8,000 people on that, that's gonna be a tall order. Um. Can we fish? Okay, we have access to fish. Thank goodness for that. So at least an access to food source there. Um, weed, fruit, wines. Yeah. Oh dear. What about raw materials? Can we do, do anything here? Timber. Timber is the only resource we have here. Oh my word, I was wondering if I should face Boudica instead. <laughs> and we don't have much space to build on either. Um, okay. What about the rest of the Empire? You'll sell marble and buy... oil. Okay. You will sell... wine and clay. 
buy fish and furniture, so that's definitely what we're going to be making money off early on. You'll sell clay. That's odd. They'll sell us clay and then buy pottery. And there's one town all the way down here as well. Meat and weapons. And they'll buy fruit and meat. Yeah, this one's gonna be a challenge. My word. I'm not even sure where to start here. Now I wish I'd stayed in London for a while longer. We might need more than 8,000 to fuel this city. Oh. So let's see, we can do a couple of things. We can import clay and produce pottery that way and be a manufacturing town. That's feasible. Uh, how much more do I want to make from that? Let's see, show prices. We'd be buying clay and we'd be selling. Yeah, that's a hundred profit. And that's better than, say, uh, selling fish directly by a good margin. And we can't really sell any of the agricultural goods. That's gonna be all things we're gonna keep in the town. Otherwise we can't feed the town. And... Um... <laughs> oh my. So yeah, this is arable land. And this. Uh, is there any food source we can import? And the answer is no. Actually, no, actually we can't import grain. Okay, good. And we'll definitely have to do that. But the uh, main sustenance of this town will have to be uh, fish. Definitely has to be fish. And then we'll have to use these as a complementary to that. Uh, we're gonna grow... What could we grow? Wheat, fruit and wines, okay. And all that goods are gonna go to our luxury district, which will have to be on the other side here. I think. Actually, no. Okay, the luxuries are gonna be in the corner up here, I think. And the majority of our town will have to be down here. Because we'll have to be producing... Yeah, we'll have to be a manufacturing town. That's the only way to make this work. So we're going to start by opening all the trade routes. Those are all by land. The other two are by sea, most likely. You'll buy meat, but that's not something we're going to be able to sell. You will sell us. You'll buy furniture, which is what we're going to export initially. You'll sell us olives, which I could manufacture into here and sell. And you'll sell us clay, which I can return to you as pottery. Same thing here. Can't get any of those goods out. You are. Yeah, we're just going to buy stuff from you. I'm gonna open the trade routes. I know I don't have a working dock, but that's fine. So yeah, we're gonna import food from the docks. We're gonna import... Hmm, where are we gonna put the docks then? Probably down here. Uh, access to this island... It's not possible through that island. You have to go across here, and then across here, and then across there again. Ah, that's a roundabout way. Okay, uh, ship bridge. The 
these are three squares. How best to take advantage of this terrain? Arg. There, and I've got two workshops on this side, but then we less on the other. Yeah. Heck with it, let's go there. Yeah, yeah, no working lock. I know, I'm working on that. And so much else. Let's see. I think the docks are gonna have to be here, right? One, two, and then something else up there. Yeah, something like that. We'll, we'll figure it out. I think we're going to take a short break here, though, and then we're going to start this map, the final one, and, and honestly, uh, next time. Thank you for watching.